football. It starts at Wiley. The 17th ranked Bulldogs hosting a former Class 4A rival Brownwood. The Lions ranked 13th to start 2023. Brownwood on their first drive. I call keeps it around the left side. He can run 40 yards down the sideline. First down. Hall liked that so much he did it again. This time no one catches him. He gets it in the end zone. Touchdown Lions, it's 7-0. Wiley answers uh, with a score of their own. Julius Lane up the gut, four yards for the touchdown, tied it up at seven apiece, but not for long. Second quarter, Brownwood retakes the lead with a pass from Hall to Marcelo Hooker. That touchdown gives the Lions a 14-7 lead. Things slowed down in the second half. Hayden Wright here for Wiley. Big defensive play, his first interception of the year. Brownwood led 14-7 at the break. Third quarter, Brownwood adds the lead. Jalen Brown up the gut, makes it look easy. The score makes it 21-7. Brownwood move to the fourth quarter. Wiley fighting back. The Bulldogs defense is going to pick up this fumble. And they're headed the other way. Wiley makes it a seven-point game. However, Brownwood goes on to win it by the final score of 35 to 21 at Sanford Stadium tonight. Lions ranked 13th in the state in Class 4A or 1-0. Miriam was at the game and talked to head coach Sammy Burnett afterwards. Thank you so much, D. Rob. I mean, coach, 35-21, week one victory. Let's first talk about defense, putting a stop to Wiley, and they had a really good game. How do you feel about how they played tonight? Uh, we knew that our defense is a veteran part of our team, and we knew that they're going to have to keep us in the ball game. Uh, proud of what they did. You know, we gave them opportunities to score late. That's on the offensive side and the special team side, but our defense bowled their neck up and did what they had to do to get us on the field offensively and get us a win. In a completely different offense this season. I mean, you guys worked hard, put up 35 points. What did you like out there on offense? I liked their fight. They fought together. They faced adversity. They overcame adversity. They never got phased. They just kept doing what we asked them to do, but they played with great passion. That's why we're victorious. You're walking away from Hugh Sandifer Stadium with a week one victory. What's going through your head right now? Thank you, Lord, man. What a blessing. What a blessing. All right, looking ahead to next week, I mean, there's obviously still stuff for you guys to practice on and work on. What are you guys going to work on for next week? Uh, just minimize the mistakes, the penalties, the turnovers. Uh, defense got a couple turnovers for us, so that was big, but we got to stay in front of the chains offensively, not get behind the chains with penalties, and don't turn the ball over. All right, congratulations on the win. You guys drive back safely, okay? Thank you very much. All right, much. for Big Country Homepage Sports, Miriam Chamberlain, D-Rob, back to you.